Happy Wednesday, everyone. My name is Deacon Jeff Copson, and I'm very happy to be with you here today as we break open the gospel for Wednesday, July 1st. Our gospel today comes from chapter 8 of Matthew's gospel. When Jesus came to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, to the territory of the Gadarenes, two demonics who were coming from the tombs met Jesus. They were so savage that no one could travel by that road. They cried out, What have you to do with us, Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the appointed time? Some distance away, a herd of many swine was feeding. The demons pleaded with Jesus, If you drive us out, send us into the herd of swine. And Jesus said to them, Go then. They came out and entered the swine, and the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea where they were drowned. The swine herds ran away, and when they came into the town, they reported everything, including what had happened to the demonics. Thereupon the whole town came out to meet Jesus, and when they saw him, they begged him to leave their district. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's gospel setting is an area east of the Sea of Galilee. And it's an area that is not of Jewish territory or a tribe from Judah. It is a Gentile area, the Gadarenes. And this is emphasized a little bit by Matthew as he told us about a large herd of swine that is also feeding in the area. So we know the people in this area do not follow Jewish customs or their ways. Now while he's there with his apostle, he encounters two demons. And by curing them, he is showing his apostles that they must reach out beyond their normal comfort zone and the boundaries where they normally work. For as his disciples, they are called to help all who are in need, not just Jewish people or the followers of the Jewish religion. But I think what is really most important, at least what I was drawn to, is the last line of this gospel. Where the townspeople, after the two demonics were cured, came out and asked Jesus, just go away. Please don't stay in this area anymore. I was really taken aback by that. To me, it's one of the saddest lines in the gospel. Telling Christ Jesus, just go away. We don't want you here. Now, as I read some of the reflections by the scriptural theologians and, and the experts, they say some of it might be because of the swine being lost. It was a huge economic price that that community had to pay. Others pointed out that it could have been that the demonics who were cured now, they didn't know how they were going to fit back into the social structure or society of that town. But it got me thinking, do we ever tell Jesus, just go away? Do we ever say, we don't want you to be a part of this? Now, as disciples Christ Jesus, I don't think we intentionally do that. But is there any teaching of Jesus where we say, you know, I'm your disciples. I'm a disciple. I want to follow you. But I don't think I want to maybe in this circumstance. You know, this love your neighbor thing. I'll love most of my neighbors, but those who don't follow the rules or fit into the things that I think should be done, I don't know if I can love them. Or when we're told to not put 
the things of this earth, material things, our possessions, relationship with others, people, our work, not ahead of our God. Maybe at times we say, no, those things are more important to me than the teachings and following the teachings of Christ Jesus. Are we not in those circumstances telling Jesus, just go away? I think that's a point for us to ponder. Is there any part of our lives where we kind of exclude our full following of the teachings of Christ Jesus because we think we know better or it's uncomfortable for us? Or maybe we just think that others don't deserve the mercy and love of Christ Jesus. I ask you to reread that, this gospel when you have time and ponder that last line where they're telling Jesus, just go away and reflect, is there anything in my life, anything I do that tells Jesus, not this time, just go away. Thanks for joining us today. Father Joe will be back tomorrow with the Gospel Reflection. God bless. Have a great day.